work. Put a torch down. Here. The monsters don't spawn in here. This probably leads to nothing. Maybe. Oh, no. There we go. And just looked like an end there, so I got scared. Alright. Well, we haven't been talking a lot the past few minutes, but just, just like this creeper just stunned me by its magical power to open a door. And give me a chance to redo my house a little with all these oblongs. Long. Shit. Mm. Is this trying? Yeah. Probably not gonna happen. It probably destroyed all that wood, so. At least it didn't destroy my door. Yeah. Make a glass case around there, because I just know in the future I'm gonna fall down that. <laughs> but I only fall about a few feet. But no, no, no. Predicted my own future. No, I didn't do that purpose. She meant to look down. Okay. Anyway, away from the fat. We're gonna chop down some more trees before we explore that cave. I saw some coal down there, so. Actually, before I found my house, I saw some coal. Yeah, that's right over there. about 32 more of this. Grab all these trees from above. Let's hope it doesn't get night time before. I actually start exploring that cave and then it's just gonna make it 20 times worse. I need a compass. No, not a compass. Wow. A watch. A watch in this game if you don't know. For all you uh, non-Minecraft players at this point. Uh, a clock just tells you what time of day it is. Well, it does what it does in real life, but like it shows where the sun is and all that stuff. If it's night or if it's day, so it's really handy if you're in a cave and you don't want to come up. If it's up here. I want to get the ones up here. So I should get these like, saplings for more fuel for the furnace. They don't do a lot, but they, they do some. If I want to, I can make a tree fort. I love making tree forts. It's fun. But, oh, here's a story for you guys. It just happened recently, actually. Um, yeah, so anyway, I went on a, f a friend of mine's server, multiplayer server, First thing I want to do, want to make a tree fort. All right, uh, made a tree fort out of like maybe 50 trees. I uh, got it all set up. I was all excited because I made this big tree fort that I haven't made ever before. So, yeah. Anyway, I have it. Uh, I finished the first and second floor. Almost done the third floor. Almost complete it fully. Then all of a sudden. I don't know who, but someone put lava too close to my tree. Too close to one tree. So anyway, I was going up this roller coaster that a friend made, and all I can see in the distance is my house burning down. It was it was a sight. To tell you the truth, it was a sight. Yeah, for all you pyromaniacs, you would have loved it. Unfortunately, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, because... So, anyway. Long story short. 
not making a tree fort on a multiplayer anytime soon. <laughs> but anyway, I went back to the server and, uh, well, I didn't go away from it, but I went to that server and, uh, made a brick house. And that doesn't burn down, thank god. So, I'm really happy now. Got another house. Kept all the stairs and all that from the old house. Like, I had stairs going up in my trees and all that. God, I missed my tree fort. Tree house. But, nonetheless, it's in the graveyard now. Well, actually, it's a pile of ash, but we won't talk about that. I'm wasting all my torches. I shouldn't do this. I always make it too light in this place, but you guys, I don't know if the quality is that good. Like, if you can see a dark place in this cave, like, I should light it up, probably, for you guys. I know I'm nice. I forgot to get the coal, actually. And I'll remove this wall. I hate, like, just dirt walls, but I only did that that dirt wall over there, because I need to block off some skeletons. See, the reason I like putting, uh, no lag. The reason I like putting a cave near my house or in my house, is so I can do a actual cave exploring, without the fact that people, like, things like skeletons and stuff from the outside, can actually go into the cave itself, like, behind me, and actually sneak up, so... That's why I like doing it. If right. I can try to get this coal, I press shift. Um, probably won't work. I don't even know where it is. Great tip: when you're looking for something, actually know where it is. I almost fell off. Good, good, good. This is going great. I need pigs. I'm dying. Alright, I need to make a tower. Before things start spawning. Things start spawning, I'm dead. I want a circle. Circle. I always do that. Like, almost start thing, and then I just go to another one. I know, I'm using pickaxe. Don't hate me. Alright. Drop it down here. Alright. Go around to my oh, I should have made a shortcut or something. Things don't spawn on my house. I like to put torches. You know what? I'm just gonna waste all the torches because I, I got coal now, so I don't need it. I got light all around my house. Saw that hole too. Where did my bed go? Did I pick? <sighs> I'm really frustrated right now. Uh, I should have <sighs> only got one wool now. Don't have any life. I don't pick. I'm just gonna wait till morning. I'm probably going to edit this out, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, oh, it's still night out. I don't even think I was, I was away for like two minutes, not even. Uh, I can, I'm addicted right now, so I can't really watch a sheep. It's going to come out of nowhere again and blow up. Alright, I need to search for a sheep. Or something. But I'm almost dead, so I'm probably gonna die. But I, I slept in my bed, but no. God, I'm in a pickle. See, when you sleep in a bed, it sets your spawn. But when you destroy a bed, kind of get Okay, I hear things about me. I hear sheep. Uh, 
have to cheat. <laughs> Alright, run away, run away, run away. Get in the door. Okay, I'm one. I'm. Uh... Go away, zombie. 